Hello everyone and welcome to Bug Out with Bree. Bree here, Community Science Specialist from the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. These past few episodes we've been talking a lot about arthropods from the phylum Arthropoda, which includes insects, arachnids, and crustaceans. However, another group of creepy crawlers we haven't talked about yet, which come from many different phyla, are the worms. Worms is a broad name we give to many different distantly related animals with long tube-like bodies and no limbs. They can be found worldwide from the deepest marine sediments to the soils in our own city parks and backyards. What do you think of when I say the word worm? My first thought are these guys. The ones most people are familiar with is Lubricus terrestris, sometimes referred to as night crawlers. However, there are over 6,000 different species of earthworms alone. On top of that, there are as many as a few hundred thousand species of worms in total. And there are about 12 phyla of worms in the world. But today, we are only going to focus on the three major phyla. The flatworms, roundworms, and segmented worms. Flatworms belong to the phylum platyhelminthes. Flatworms are found in marine, freshwater, and even damp terrestrial environments. Flatworms are flat and soft-bodied. Most are free-living forms, but many are parasites that obtain their food from a host animal. Some common ones are planarians, flukes, and tapeworms. Flatworms have a simple digestive system, and some are scavengers. They feed on dead plant or animal material and are also predators. Tapeworms are parasites and absorb food from their host's digestive system. Roundworms belong to the phylum Nematoda. Roundworms may be the most abundant animals on Earth. About a million roundworms live in a spoonful of damp soil or sand. Roundworms have cylindrical bodies. Some are carnivores, some are herbivores, and some are parasites. Unlike flatworms, roundworms have a tube-like digestive system that has two openings. This is an efficient system of digestion and most complex animals have this system of digestion. Segmented worms belong to the phylum Annelida. Earthworms, leeches, and other segmented worms have bodies made of many sections called segments. Annelids are found in nearly all wet environments and they have well-developed muscles which let the worms crawl through the soil or on top of the ground. Annelids also have a digestive system that has two openings and have a closed circulatory system. Blood is enclosed in the heart and blood vessels. They have five paired organs that act like hearts to pump their blood through blood vessels. An earthworm can crawl using bristles found on the outside of each body segment to stick to the ground and pull itself along. I think one of the most beautiful worms is the Christmas tree worm. It's a marine worm and the bristles resemble a Christmas tree. These are found in tropical coral reefs around the world. Worms are beneficial to the environment. Terrestrial worms help to increase the amount of air and water that gets into the soil. They break down organic matter like leaves and grass into things that plants can use. When they eat, they leave behind castings that are a very valuable type of plant nutrient. Just watch out for the parasites. Stay safe, but stay creepy. See you next time on the next Bug Out with Brie.